Thank you so much for staying. If you just joined us, this is TMI. We're taking a look at Salvation Nigerians' democracy uh, ahead of inauguration of the president's election. Many things have been happening. Many people have been talking about it. Uh, and of course, a strong warning from the DSS. And uh, we have uh, so many analysts sharing their thoughts and, of course, their opinions about this particular topic of discourse. With me here in the studio, a legal practitioner, a political analyst, you to welcome Barrister Patrick Isekwino. Barrister, welcome to TMI. He is a distinguished legal practitioner, chartered arbitrator, right? Chartered uh, media and what again, uh, notary public and human rights activists. Yeah, these are some of the offices he occupies. Uh, uh, like you say, welcome to TMI. Good morning, Wilson. We are as the happy All right. And of course, uh, this other guest uh, I want to introduce he was one time vice chairman of Ego local government, uh, one time also acting chairman of Ego local government, uh, a political analyst, a politician, and a premier. Join me to welcome Honorable Desmond Ubo. Welcome to TMI. Thank so you. This edition. Thank you. I appreciate your coming. Thank you. I, I believe that why they were talking, talking about the first set of discourse, and to better pick a point or two, uh, talking about the power of government one of them said we want to move out from that particular you know mentality we have about our government a lot of us saying uh, uh that security operatives or the government so to speak right now in court are trying to muscle nigerians in court from crying out now what do you feel about all this thank you we see there is one thing about crying out there is another when you talk about crying too much there are rooms set aside by government and the laws of our land to cry out. Mm -hmm. And that is where the court was created in the first place. Mm -hmm. Now, going to court after election of sort is one of the processes of democracy. Yeah. And the, the, the process is to be sure that the areas you felt that you were not uh, uh, carried along in line with the lay down rules and regulation, then you have the evidence to prove safe. You go to court. Now that you are in court, you cannot be in court and in the streets in the same time. Mm. The reason why the apprehension is growing higher every day to suspect the call for an interim uh, national government, which is not in any part of our constitution. Mm. We knew what happened when an interim government was fostered on this country during the time of Babangida. The same period where this DSS were created via decree 19. And the DSS is equally telling Nigerians that look, there is some suspicion mm. that people are actually calling for interim government. One, through the avalanche of court cases, over 60,600 uh, cases levied against INE. And secondly, through the incessant protestation on a daily basis. And it will surprise you to note that the leader of the Freedom uh, uh, Free Nigeria movement, Dr. Mo, who said he's apolitical to what he's doing, that equally called a, a WordPress conference, mm. demanding that the National Independent Electoral, uh, uh, I mean the Independent National Electoral Commission chairman should be sacked by the president and also arrested. He went ahead to call for an interim national government. That man, whose interest is he serving? Why has the DSS not invited him to shed light on his aims and objectives, his mission? There is one thing, even in the, uh, in the uh, 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 release by DSS, the first paragraph and the last paragraph is all about deterrent, telling them to desist from such uh, act. Mm -hmm telling them the need to shave all this sort of protestation, which doesn't have any business with our law. But one thing is clear, that Nigerians felt, some parts of the country, or some Nigerians felt that the election did not fall in line with their aims and objectives, with their thoughts. The best bet to do is to go to court. And the Dr. Mo, who is constantly occupying the streets of Abuja, who says that he is not acting the script of any political party, whose interest is in that act is not, not, not playing? Why are you crying more than a believe? 
You are not a member of the APC. You are not a member of the Labour Party, as you claim. You are not a member of uh, PDP. Why are you not crying more than a degree? What is your line of action now? Now, the Labour Party has gone to court. The PDP has gone to court. Are you trying to governance support to ensure that the, the acclaim, uh, 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 I mean, your, 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 your thoughts by way of saying that the, the, the president-elect is supposed not to be the winner or the person you think that won the election go to court and win the election by way of supplying evidence. I know that a lot of people who are joining in the protest must have voted in one unit or the other. If you felt that the unit result that you saw is different from the one that the INA uh, 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 display or read, then you can, you can su support your, your principal by donating the evidence that, look, there is a disparity between what we saw in, at the unit level and what these people are telling us. Instead, you are, you are disturbing the peace of the country and you, you, are, you are taking laws into your hand. And the DSS should come out well on time to invite those people he felt that he said uh, behind this uh, uh, calling for uh, international government. Because the earlier these people are called to order or called to, called to questioning, the better for the, for, for, for the nation. Because the apprehension and the, the heightened uh, 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 state of our country is becoming unbearable. Right. It will affect the, the businesses, it will affect our economy, it will affect our daily lives. So it is good, like the, the governor's forums are calling the DSS, to, as a matter of urgency, invite these people and question them. Okay. Only yesterday we saw that uh, the AZ of Ajao Estate was arrested by the DSS. He's been taken to Abuja for questioning because I saw a viral video where he was even calling for people to share it, that he is going to invite IPOP to come and fight for them. And we also saw that uh, man who was uh, apprehended uh, on... Uh, Ibom Line. Okay. Yes, Ibom Line. Okay. Uh, asking that, uh, I mean, telling uh, the public that on no account should the president-elect will be sworn in. Who does that in a country where there is law and order? I, I will come back to you, Honorable. Well, Barrister, you, you, you heard them. This seems to be a case uh, for the lawyers and the force of the judiciary to really handle, but they are saying they don't have, uh, you know, confidence in the judiciary. And some are saying that the way the security agents are going about all this is like muffling, or will I say muzzling, so to speak, the populace that are crying out. Take it up from there. Okay, not, not enough such. At least all of them are just being, trying to carry out the script of their, of their principal. Now, those uh, people, calling for international conference, calling for cancellation of the election. This is nothing but the handiwork of some political gladiators and political buccaneers within the, our system. You see, the electoral laws are clear that when you want an accredited results, you are a candidate, you are not satisfied with the announcement of the, the results. The next step is to go to election tribunal. That is what the constitutional regard. That is the legal thing. That is the next step. Because you submitted yourself to the issue of issue democracy. Election is part of democracy. As I said in section 14 of our constitution, our grand norm, that one, Nigeria shall be a country based on democracy and, the, and their justice. That's how we have democracy. Since you surprise, someone you contest a lie, you should play by the rules. The law does not recognize you taking laws into your hand. Everybody around turned themselves to next chairman. And this is embarrassing. I would rather country respect Nigeria. The other chairman, as far as concerned, has done his work. That man needs to be celebrated. Because he did his best. Because in the, uh, uh, based on the election uh, result that was announced by him, you see some person winning some states, which never expected. Even some governor lost in their own states, some candidate lost in their own states. Can any election be fair as that? They are not calling here and here and here. I think you are me. So what I'm trying to say is that the man has tried, and you cannot blame the INEC or some irregularity in some states. Those shooting guns, those uh, train ballot buses, is it thy neck? No. It's not thy neck. It's the political gladiators, it's the same people. That's why you should not listen to them. I don't think those, those, those things, they, uh, we don't, we don't, it's not a thing that you should be taken serious. You know what I mean? Since they've surrendered themselves to uh, 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 the tribunal now, they're cut off at you, I expect them to keep quiet. You can't be very hot and cool. After submitting yourself to the uh, election uh, uh, tribunal, you now went again to the streets. 
trying to cause anarchy. It's a serious problem, and this thing will not take them anywhere. It will not take us anywhere. For instance, that it's just an infertility. You know the president too well, President Fred Bolong Jerabuari. He has said it several that whoever wins, I will hand over to. He has said it. So I just said that I call them distraction. But he moves Buari. And I've told them that I said it last time by May 29th, Snoop will swing. Nobody can destroy this government. Nobody. Nobody. Because I know Buari is nobody. They're just on their own. Four years is not forever. Go for the next election, but you put Nigeria on fire. If you believe you have faith in the vote you had, and you have submitted yourself to the election, to the election tribunal and the court, uh, uh, court of appeal, you should keep quiet and uh, let the court do their work. Nobody can intimidate the court by side talk, side talk, here. The only thing that intimidate the court with is evidence. So. Nothing more than that. If you have enough evidence, you are sure to. But if you don't have that, you think that you can cajole, you can intimidate the court because of side talk. Because Nigeria is a country where dog eat lion. They keep on manufacturing. They are food there. Lies everywhere. They manufacture waste. But everything political. Everything political. Even, I know that some judges have become, become political by their actions. They ask scripts. We know we're, we're ready to checkmate them. Right. Whoever. So I'm not finished yet. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is that those people who try to, they don't mean well for Nigeria. And by church calling, do you know what this is for international government? It's an aberration. It's not our constitution. Our literal our law. And the constitution. What you constitution? So don't enter them at all. So you want to cause anarchy? You want to cause problem? And the ING is a, is a bad woman and can never happen in Nigeria. I remember during uh, Abi, uh, Abacha time, uh, IBB, he set up an ING, federal yeah. government. What is the day? It's just a move. Before you know it, Abacha swept up the, the uh, Shodikon at the government. That's what I mean. And they cannot tell you, if one way somebody to be tempted, it's an opportunity to, to, to take it away from the south, from, south, uh, south, uh, from the south. This relation we had, but we are thank, thank God, they from the south. But if, if the body says somebody wants to be uh, 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 fraudulent, we talk about the national government. Yeah, and whoever, yeah, whoever, yeah, makes, yeah. whoever it makes, whoever it makes is, is from uh, any man from the national government, of the national, national government. Then no selection. Can you can, can you decide the fate of fate of the Sandra became the president of this country? The government is just we whoever it fix to help the national government. It's finished. No take a bow. Abi right. did it. What is the end of the day? So what I'm trying to say is that the worst uh, the democratic government is better than the internal government or military government. Mm -hmm. So for them to be saying calling down there. They, I think they're not Democrats, and uh, if they know what you thought, what uh, happened in 1993, I know then I was very, that's where I got my TV from, I know the, another crew, that was I guess one of them, I know what they thought. Right. Nobody are ready to take the risk against military. Okay. They are alive. Abela was killed, the, the, the wife was killed. Do you know what it is? They people fought Democrats, I don't want to mention them. Okay. Abel, uh, uh, what they call uh, Timbu is one of them. Yeah, he said Democrats, are, yeah, yeah, I don't think one cause for such a thing, okay. but they want to tell it. All right, so what I'm trying to say is that yes. please, those calling for, it's un undemocratic. Undemocratic. Of course, and it's not for our law, okay. both the constitution and the yeah, local right. law. All right, now some are saying that the DSA should mention names. According to them, that they know this, but why not mention names? If by mentioning names, we'll, we'll just ease this agitation or make it worse. Honorable. What, what, what's stopping them from mentioning names? If you mention names, it will serve as deterrent for others who are also planning. So, how the, 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 the protesters? Because that's why some politicians are involved in this, some highly placed persons are involved in this. So, why, what's the point of no. the names? Those calling for this ING, I saw the retinue of pressmen in their World Press Conference. Where do they get such money to call for a World Press Conference if they are not being sponsored? Every day, they are in the street protesting. You see them taking care of themselves. Who finance such a protest? There are people who are seriously, sorry, teachersly, sponsoring this set of people. Mentioning names, if not all, but some elements, we go a long way to quell this ever increasing agitation. Yes, you agitate when you see there are rules against the set rules. You come out to say, look, this and that is against the rules. I cannot take it. Where do you go? You go to a court. The election petition tribunal is part of the democratic process. No one subverts it. The reason why sometimes I'm looking at the, our leaders, those who constitute the National Peace Commission, you know, prior to the election, several times, this set of our leaders invited all the political uh, uh, party candidates 
asking them to attain their signature on a, a set deck document, how to court their followers who are going outside the rules to size. Mm. And the relevant laws that will also compare these people to be apprehended in line with the laid down rules and regulations. What now happened to these are leaders? Why are they not calling these people to order? If the Labour Party has come out to say, look, we are in court, nobody should protest in the name of the Labour Party. PDP is doing the same. APC come out to do the same. All other political parties are doing the same. Now look, nobody should use my name. Don't use my political party to permit trouble. If you want to assist me, come with the evidence you have in your respective units. Help me out with pictorial evidence, video evidence, and every other evidence. So that we can prosecute this uh, case to logical conclusion and come at uh, top. If they are come at or compared to do say, you will see that this agitation will just, just fizzle out. You just hold on. I want to take a break. When we return, we'll continue with this discussion. Do not go away. Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you just joined us, this is TMI. We're taking a look at South Asian Nigerians' democracy. Uh, talking about the May 29 inaugurations, matters are rising. I have Honorable Desmond Dubo and, of course, a Barrister Patrick Isekwen. Where well, we took before went on that break. Naming names, mentioning names. I feel like I said that you should do it, especially the ruling party that say, name it. Or name them so that Nigerians will know these people know how to go about them. But the, is that the right call? It is. Mm -hmm. But I'm very sure that the DSS are also trying to, to reduce tension. Mm -hmm. If names are named now, it will heighten this the tension. The tension. So uh, I'm sure that they, are, they will certainly name names. Mm -hmm. I'm very sure that after the inauguration, of the president-elect, names will be ruled out. And these people will face the music they are playing. It will be better that it will serve as deterrent to others for posterity's sake. We knew how this thing snowballed into crisis previously when interim government were formed. Uh, following the death of uh, uh, Bacha, I mean, uh, 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 when uh, 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 Buari was removed, Buari, uh, Babangida came in, he promised Nigeria this is what he's going to do. After so many years, he began to rig my role. They call him, uh, call him uh, Maradona, he was dribbling the country. Then, when he was so much pressurized, to hand over government to democratically elected government. He now, he now came with that ING. And that ING, he refused to sign it. It was prepared after he left office. Hmm. The reason why three months or thereabouts into the government, Abacha, who was the Minister of Defense to Shoneko, now discover when they took the matter to court, the court now ruled that the the document was not signed by IBB. So when they were in a meeting, Federal Executive Council meeting, there was a palace school. Abacha now asked uh, Shoneko to just read his handing over note. That is how it all ended. And before that time, it wasn't in the constitution. And after that time, ING is not in the constitution. Now, for those calling for ING, it is an indirect way of inviting military intervention to come to government again. They forgot that once military come in, they will set aside our constitution. They will no longer use our constitution. They will not be using decree as a suit to them. Nobody question them. Are they asking that interim national government should be invited, I mean, should come, take over, hold on briefly and hand over to their choice candidate. Is it done in that manner? 
So the the freedom that they are enjoying, even those who are asking, come on, come on, they will be checkmated. Those who are putting on yeri, those men who are putting on yeri and wearing dada, they will no longer go freely in the streets. Oh, oh. Even the 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 freedom of speech in the social media and on the street they are enjoying now. Oh. We return to the dustbin of history. Mm. So these are certain because when you are too angered before you say certain things, you will lose your sense. I'm very sure that the way a manner they are going about it is informed by their quest for a particular candidate. And now that the candidate didn't win, and they are just throwing caution into the wind and begin to do things the way they feel it can be done in their banana republic. Nigeria is not a banana republic. Mm -hmm. We have laws that guide us. And even in democracy, we have laws. Okay, tell for example, when in Congo and in Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. Ivory Coast when Lawrence Babo and Qatar, the current government. Babo was the president then. There was a kind of democratic uh, conflict between Babo and Qatar. A lot of people were agitating. Those who were supporting Qatar, they wanted civil war. And a lot of people died in the process. Just about four days ago, and this thing happened about roughly ten years ago, I saw Babo and Qatar we are holding their hands. hands. Love me. What now happened to the souls that were lost? Have? What happened to the welfare of their of their of their family? They have lost senses. The reason why sometimes you know when OBS equally remove history from our constitution, from our uh, educational curriculum. I'm very sure if we have been in tune with the history of our country, even the civil war the Biafra Civil War, and so many other things, who would have learned, let's say, to tread with caution. Because democracy, like you said, the worst democracy, you can't compare it with the best military government. So, it's an institution. It keeps evolving. We are going to strengthen it. The judiciary is there to help strengthen it. The reason why, you don't just say because you won in your loca locality, mm -hmm. Then you are expecting somebody there to also win. No, you might be popular in one place. You might not be popular in the other place. Look at the election with the use of beavers. It has reduced the total numbers of people that participated. Not necessarily because they were not interested, but the usual way of, 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 of bringing out votes. You see this uh, ex-president who is fueling, who is fanning the embers of discord in this country. In his time, the total results, the total vote that PDP got was 24 million. 24 million in 1999. In, in, in 2003, he got about 22 million. Now, what the total political party, the entire political party got now, it's not up to 20 million. All right. So that tells you that the use of beavers is another step ahead mm. to help sanitize the now, democracy. Okay. We will get there. All right. It's All right. a matter of time. A matter of time. Now, uh, as a legal practitioner, though, I threw the question at Barrister Delek Bilejo. He explained, say that it's all about evidence that the Supreme Court is not what some persons are, are trying to paint it uh, like in the eyes of Nigerians. He said it's based on evidence. But they are saying that, true, we have the courts, but they don't have the confidence in the judiciary. Do you think this is one of the reasons why they choose to take law to their hands, calling for an interim government? Uh, it's, it's not. It's not at all. Because it's, it's just a quest for, quest for power. Supreme Courts have been known for their indep independence. Mm. See. Supreme Court, you know, the highest court of, of, of the land. Mm. You see, this is uh, the court, this, uh, court where you have, this is the court where you have the men. They look at issue. They look at issue, the way it is. They look at the evidence before them. Supreme Court can never bow for anybody. I have never seen them doing that. They have never seen that. They can never do that. Supreme Court, I know too well. They, see, they have turned a lot of cases down to do injustice. Anything being manipulated at the lower level, when they get there, they will, they will turn it. You are aware the Imo State Governor, who took yeah. top position, was well, not given first position. Yeah. He's not Supreme Court. You know what I mean? Who, what, I mean? what I mean is that Supreme Court have, have done wonders to some people. So it is just the lies. You know, in Nigeria, the cheapest commodity. 
It's a lie. Just to please your principal everywhere, those in the government authority, lying is their is their is it's it's their it's hobby. I don't I don't my public officer, I don't take him serious. They lie. Even the pastors among them, all of them, nobody's exempted. Even the judges, they all most of I mean, just for favor. They lies. Lies everywhere on them there. I don't take them serious. You understand me? But they should not use that to equate the Supreme Court. So because I know it's a man with have men of integrity, they don't have interest. They look at your matter holistically, look at it the way it is. You understand me? Just like when they also mentioned the issue of uh, 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 uh meeting uh, our current uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. CGN in London. They they, no, oh, sir. the matter is not they even yet in Supreme Court. <laughs> we are crying about Supreme Court. You understand me? Supreme Court will do somebody you remember the doing somebody's favor. You cannot kick your head kick on her, you can have it. Mm. So, that, so that, court, that will tell you the essence of Nigeria, how they lie. The lie is something else. You see, so I don't take it serious. Even from anybody, because no, I don't the authority anywhere. They want to get favor from their principles. That's why those who are acting, they, carry, they are not carrying the script of their uh, principles. That's the truth on the matter. So Supreme Court is very, very intact. That's why I say, when the matter in court, we don't like commenting on it. Let it go there, but I know that the Supreme Court will do justice to the matter. If at the end of the day, you don't have... Uh, Evidence. Sorry, they throw away your because you don't have evidence. Yeah. It is evidence, you see, they, they add out document before them, not aside what you talk. So they're not moved. Whatever you say, it's, it's, it, they only know the evidence before them. So Supreme Court is that, but it was a, they say they did that, it's a blatant lie. Supreme Court can never manipulate anybody's uh, result. Supreme Court can never be involved in anything that will bleed to their status as the CGN. Let me tell you, sorry, let me just digress. Let me just come. When I was, I was the uh, attitude just of the uh, Supreme Court, the young government, mm -hmm. Ekpoma, there's a political case that's very important. Just to remove me, allow, allow me, uh, under that matter, they said they gave me uh, 50,000, maybe 100,000. I'm talking about 99. You know the value of that money. They said they gave me. We not started though. They said I've letter CJ and they just, they just write that money. It was, it was a serious problem. For something I don't even know about. So, but their complaint was to ease me. They said uh, uh, they cannot trust me because of my human rights background. <laughs> mm. I'm likely to throw the matter oh. against them because if I put them at the court, at the, at the, at the high court, so they're not going to high court. So Supreme Court, it's a court cannot be trusted <coughs> because of my human rights background. Mm. That was just they manipulated. What they did not do, but look at how it was at the just Supreme Court. They were with me for the serious fight because they know, they know me. That I believe they believe in me. We said no. They said no. We don't have such a thing. I never did a claim is such a go with my case. One of them had called me. He said, Patrick. Uh, Patrick. Why are you acting like that now? We are, we are the government. Why are you treating us? Do the needful. <laughs> Do the needful. <laughs> but Peter refused. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, all right. But, 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 but right now, yes. we know that the nature today is sacrosanct. Yes, so, so, so also is the threat. What the DSS, uh, you know, alerted the public and of course citizens of Nigeria that this what is happening. That means it should be taken seriously. Now, what advice do you have for those who are nursing at the back of their mind that are going to come out to protest, to scuttle uh, the day, to make it not to come to pass? What advice do you have for them, Honorable? They should borrow lesson from history. In US, when Donald Trump lost to Biden, you saw what happened. As I speak with you, a lot of those protesters are in jail. Some lost their lives. And a few days from now, Donald Trump will appear and it might likely go to jail. Now, when you are fighting a political fight, first and foremost, you look at your interest. Am I too bigger than Nigeria? Am I bigger than the law? What will affect to my parents, my family, if I lost my life in the process? Have there not been any Nigerian who even did more than the one I'm doing now? Now, are you a candidate in the elections? So what, you saw what happened when uh, he was given the option, uh, Abiola, to forget. Abacha said he's going to pay all the expenses mm. he incurred during the election. He said no. I think the day he was arrested, he, he called BBC uh, reporter. That was the last call he made. He said he's with the, he's with the, uh, the, uh, he's with the commissioner of police. He said, I'm following. He was laughing. He said, ah, uh, uh, after all, uh, Nancy Mandela spent so many years in there. Uh, 
One of the crimes he committed, they call it treasonable felony, mm -hmm. was when he went to go and sit in the seat meant for Nigeria president during the inauguration of Nelson Mandela. That was one of the, 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 the crime that Abacha used in arresting him. And they, when they came to his house, over 200 vehicles, security vehicles, came to his house and he was arrested. Now, those who were saying, no, 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 mm -hmm. how many of them followed him to, to jail? Though he paid the supreme price. I think it was that uh, episode that saw to the end of military mm -hmm. intervening in democracy. Mm -hmm. But today, some people who are oblivious of those happenings want to bring it to bear again. My advice for them is that they should, they should go and read. They should go and read. They should read history. History. All right. So Thank you. So whatever they see, we inform their consciousness. Their consciousness. Thank you so much. Honorable Barista, briefly, one minute. The advice you have for them. Yes, we cannot change history. Just like what my colleague said, when he made here. Uh, just a uh, Abela move to fight for his right. I know we cost his life and his wife lying. These current people should take a relief for what happened to Abiola over his right for his election that he won, not like that. Yes. So anything, thing, crisis, anything calling for anything negative internal government, they should advise to desist from it. It's, it's a call done in bad faith, not in good faith, because you know we don't recognize it. Calling for internal national government, you're not watching Nigeria well, because no military government will likely to take it. It's an opportunity for military government to take over government. I know what that all means. We might not see democracy for the next 20 years. It's over. It's over. So the only let us destroy it. Just like the woman in the Bible, when they brought dragging one child before uh, the tomb before so, so Solomon, how will you do? They said, "Cut into two. Let me have one letter." So they are not interested. But the, the mother said, "No, save the child. Let them have it. Leave it for her. The woman has to use his freedom. Give it to this woman." So if you love Nigeria, you love democracy. You can never fight for destruction. That will tell you they are not democrat. They, they, are, they are vampires. They are just saying, they are after what they can get from the government. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much, gentlemen. You've heard them. Nigeria is our own. Peace should be the watch word. Go back to history. Go through it. Read it. Absorb it. And see if the call makes sense. All right? We talk about surviving democracy, thriving democracy. We must make sure that uh, May 29, yes, uh, do happen. Okay, call your children, the guys and the girls, saying, look, we will not agree with this. We have to go out there in the street. See them at home. Tell them to sit at home, because if anything goes all right, God forbid, who will be the one to bear the loss? Food for thought. See you next week, Sunday, God willing.